Pretty much everyone knows Kmart is in deep trouble. Their stores are chronically outdated and are often empty with customers. In this video, I want to take a look at what they have done at the store closest to their headquarters to stop the bleeding. The Kmart closest to headquarters is 24 minutes away, which is not really that close. The closest one before last year closed back in July of 2017, and the closest one before that closed in 2014. It just, it's, it's kind of surprising because you would think the corporate employees would be shopping at the closest one because a lot of corporate employees live out near the headquarters and they don't even have a Kmart. Very strange. And if you take a look at the whole amount of Kmarts in Chicagoland in 2014 compared to now, there is a massive reduction in stores. This has been a common occurrence nationally. Kmart was getting really sick and tired of the negative press they had been receiving for years. That's, so, that's why they announced a new store concept in 2016. They promised it featured a whole lot of awesome. The new awesome store featured many new amenities and they promised it would make shopping fun again. They, they did this whole big grand opening celebration featuring Scotty Pippen and they finally, you know, got some decent press coverage from this. In this video, I really want to take a look at this remodeled store, which also happens to be the closest one to headquarters, about a year and a half after the grand opening. From the outside, there's pretty much no indication that the store even was remodeled. They didn't even bother to update the logo. Right as you walk into the store, you are greeted by K-Fresh, which is their uh, produce section. And they also give out the promise, if it's not fresh, it's free. Right here is the pharmacy. This was also a... Uh, Kmart's first ever telepharmacy, which is where they actually don't have a pharmacist on site. Right here is Shoparazi, Kmart's new program where they promise they'll go to another store if they don't have the product you want. It's also guaranteed to change your life according to that sign. Also, right up in the front is Kmart Dollar Palooza section, which is essentially a ripoff of Target's $1 area. And over here, they were even comparing prices to Amazon, which is a pretty bold move. Also, finally, right in front of the checkout is the customer service desk, which they rebranded the Happy to Help Center. By far, the biggest part of the remodel was just the signage upgrades. The signs look a lot nicer than, you know, your normal, kind of typical, ugly Kmart signs. They have so far have upgraded about 14 stores with this new look. In my opinion, this new look is really just copying Target from the early 2000s. It's just kind of too little, too late. There actually were a decent amount of people in the store. It was not as busy as like a Walmart or a Target, but I would not label it as a dead zone. I just avoided trying to get them on the video because they just came here to shop, not to be featured on my video, so. This Kmart happens to be the closest Kmart to my house, and I don't think I'm really gonna come back here just to make the trip for Kmart. It didn't really provide anything special. Everything here was just okay. It wasn't amazing or awesome, as they like to call it. The Really, the only places that Kmart does well in are the places where they don't have to compete with Walmart, Target, Meijer, Shopco, or anybody like that. They just, 
Like this store, there's no Walmart or Target in the immediate area. It's kind of a place you have to go to because there's no other option. If you peek through the door that is in the layaway counter, you can see the refrigerators that they had in the old food section before they did the remodel. To the left is the toy section, which they need to put a huge emphasis on with the recent downfall of Toys R Us. As a cost-cutting measure, Kmart does not staff their jewelry department. You have to hit a button to call for service if you ever want to look at something here. The shoe department by far was the busiest section of the store. Right here is the outdated tech section comprising of TVs and other fun technology from the 90s. And right next door to that is the book section. And in the book section, somebody made a horrendous mistake. That mistake was using Comic Freaking Sans for the book's labels. Seriously. As we wrap up the store tour portion of this video, I want to point out one thing no one has ever talked about. Recently, Eddie Lambert, the CEO of Sears and Kmart, gave a rare, rare interview to Vanity Fair. And this is what he said about remodeling stores and investing in their website. I could have put in a lot of capital in a Kmart or Sears store, and it could look like Bloomingdale's, or it could look like Saks. I won't be getting their customers, though, and I won't be getting their brands. I could have a website that is better than Bloomingdale's, though. Now let's compare the Bloomingdale's and Kmart websites side by side. The Kmart website does look pretty good here, however, I would still buy from the Bloomingdale's website only because the Kmart website isn't secure according to three major web browsers, and it's the same for Sears. Even Bonton, Toys R Us, and Claire's websites are secure, and all three are bankrupt and or liquidating. This is unacceptable for any company as large as Sears Holdings. I would really, really, really like to thank you guys for 100 subscribers. It's really hard to get to this number in the first place, and it's just amazing that I hit it only in just a few months. It, thank you guys. Your comments never cease to amaze me. Overall, a big thank you.